And so without further ado, let us say hello to the Iron Lady, Marina Moroz. Hello, Marina. How are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm happy in, in to be in your program. Oh, thank you. We're happy to have you as well. Congratulations on the win. C- can you describe uh, what life is like and, and what you're feeling two days removed from that big win with all the attention that you've received and all the emotion attached to that fight? Uh, I feel uh, right now good. Um, just uh, stay uh, nervous about my country. But after fight, I, I didn't sleep uh, 24 hours. Wow. I have really a lot of emotion. I try to answer for all my fans, for uh, talk with my family, talk with my friends. So really, really a lot of emotions. And I'm back in Florida. A little bit sleep and again <laughs> talk with my fans because we really have uh, a lot of support and it it helped for me. So um, I actually want to start backwards. Uh, I mentioned that your your last fight was uh, March 14, twenty twenty, prior to Saturday night, uh, and you had several fights scheduled and all of them fell through prior to this one. What was going on there? Was it was it strictly just a visa issue that was precluding you from fighting? Um, it was uh, like first I'm stuck in Ukraine after fight I back in Ukraine I was uh, fight in Brazil uh, my visa was fin- uh, like not finished but I'm I plans to back in Ukraine visit my family and I'm stuck because coronavirus start and uh, oh, you listen to me I hear you. Yeah. There is someone talking though in the back. It's Uh, making it a little hard to hear you. Is there someone next to you speaking? Oh, who's that guy? Oh, sorry. Uh, Thank you. Okay. And, um, I, I stuck in Ukraine because, uh, coronavirus starts. So I have visa, but I can, uh, to, uh, I need to, uh, stamp in my passport because consuls, everything in Ukraine closed. So, Almost seven months I wait uh, in Ukraine. And when uh, consuls open, I take visa, but I take injury, close the fight. Uh. I have fight, but close the fight, I take injury. And after I have like maybe six months, so recovery. Uh, and um, I t- tried to take a green card. Uh, I uh, prepared all my documents because I I love my country, Ukraine, a uh, very beautiful country, but uh, it was hard to always to fly. And because my team coaches everything, my sparring partner in America. And I feel, I feel comfortable for train because I didn't like to fly too much. Uh, I really miss my family, um, and uh, I think I, I need to start to green cards make. So I pre- start to prepare all my documents, and for fighting, I need to permit work documents. And um, yeah, ID card. Yeah, ID card, and after uh, one year, I. I'll only take uh, these cards. I um, permit work documents. So uh, UFC give me a fight a couple of times, but fights canceled because uh, I didn't have these documents. We wait. You see help. Uh, you see right in uh, immigration's uh, office. office, immigration's office. But is it was um, full and always to immigration's office answer we have many people wait wait so and last time uh, you see right and uh, after a couple of weeks i take these documents and uh, it, it was so close this fight with maria gapos i i signed contract but maybe like one and a half months i didn't have still documents i wait oh, wow. but i still focus train yeah, last time same. I I focus. I try to be calm, calm, and stay to. Uh, I believe that I can uh, take these documents. Just believe. 
and everything good. I take these documents, I prepare it. Yes, after we have, I have hard moments with Ukraine war. I stay strong and fighting. And so I just show how I'm strong inside. Uh, w- when did you get the documents for this fight? How how late in the process? Maybe January. Okay. January. And and when was the last time you were in the Ukraine? Uh, last time one and a half years. Is it for another Yeah, one and a half years ago, maybe one and uh, one years and maybe four months ago. I was in Ukraine. And so you haven't seen a lot of your family in well over a year. Yeah, but I every day call my mother and father talk with sister. So every day. Um, when, when my, my family understand and support me. When the news broke of uh, what was happening in the Ukraine with the uh, with you know Russia invading and, and the war breaking out uh, just a week or so before your fight. Uh, did you consider not fighting? Was there any um, concern in your in your mind, in your heart, about going through with the fight? No, I don't think about that. I think I need this fight. I need to finish uh, and show everybody uh, that Ukraine is strong. Uh, it... It was I more focus, more focus. Like I need, I need this fight, not stop. Like not back. For I want to show Ukraine that if I I win, in Ukraine can win mm. this war. Uh, how was the fight week for you? Because you know there's a lot of emotion when you're cutting weight, when you're getting ready to fight. Uh, was it hard to concentrate? Did you find yourself more emotional than than usual? How was it? Yes, it, it was really like hard for me. I'm crying. People didn't see this. Uh, I cut weight. Cut weight. It was so easy this time for me. But my manager see we try to make video for my sponsor for everybody. But I start to do it something and I cry, cry. I cannot to stop. Like every moment I say, Marina, you strong. Stop, stop. You strong. You need to be strong. Stay. Don't cry, don't think, don't look in news. But always I open my Instagram and I see news or terrible message. Russian people write me terrible message. Uh, My opponent, uh, friends, uh, she lived together, write me bad message. Oh, today, kill Marsha and your family die, like bad message. But like cry, but. Every moment I say, stop, you strong, strong. You can do it. You can, like, I don't know where I have a lot energy, like, but I did it. So to be clear, you're saying that um, Maria's friend or roommate was writing you messages about yeah. your family? Yeah, terrible message. And- like, I want to talk with uh, manager Alex, like manager Mashi. Yeah. Uh, about this situation, stop for Marsha, write me. Stop for friends, uh, roommate together, write me. I have a lot of screenshots, stop. I wow. show people that I, I win. I high level, I am a threat. Stop to write me about my family bad. She posted nice, she like two person. Marsha in interview, different person. Marsha outside, People didn't know that crazy people, crazy girl, write me bad, write shit, like. So I'm like a little bit angry right now because need to stop this. Mm. I show, I win this. Goodbye, Masha. I high level, I'm athlete. I professional athlete. I think you not athlete. I'm athlete. That's it. I I don't want to talk about this girl because she's zero. Uh, You said something at the press conference afterwards that I just wanted to clear up. You said that the UFC Russia account blocked you, but then they unblocked you? Yeah, you know, the situation uh, when I've been fighting in Brazil, I have record 
he didn't post it me. We have Nikita Krylov, he take two flags, Russian and Ukraine, and you see Russian post it, but uh, in post only write, Marina Moroz win two and that's it. No more information about me. I ask, guys, why you don't post at me? Why you don't write it? I win, I have record, good fights, bonus. Uh, and a couple times I ask and he blocked me. I cannot to follow. But I have another phone. I have a <laughs> fake account. I follow, look it because I always do. I will subscribe it because I look in news, something, oh, this girl fight, this guy's fighting, like, I just ask, and people write, why you post, why you block Marina, why you not post it, nothing, she, Ukraine, like, uh, close, and one time, not, not body don't um, uh, ask about this situation, and one time I uh, interview with uh, Russian uh, journalists, very nice guys, I have very good friends, uh, and I tell about this situation, and he posted uh, posted uh, this is news, and you uh, see Russian unblock me, and uh -huh. I follow looking. Okay, okay, you unblock me. <laughs> no, it's correct so, politically. It's not stuff. correct because you see, you see, it's big company, world, many different country, and you need to be uh, correct with. Uh, uh all fight uh, fighters right um you cannot like chew in but not post it and like block it it's not good i think and now last fight he posted me like oh he posted he posted but close the fight if you look he don't only posted my opponent mm. okay. and that's it uh so right now where is your family in in middle in ukraine and and are they like are they in, where, where are they where are they where are they staying where are they living are they they're not at home anymore right are they in a bunker where are they right now uh, uh no he uh, my family live like uh have farm outside the city okay and uh, my family right now church uh, all uh, food uh, what to uh, have like uh, eggs, milk, cheese for all army wow. for Ukraine help for give food. Yeah, uh, I help for my family a little bit some money uh, because I understand my money. Uh, my, my my family cannot like uh, stolen. My my mother say we cannot to stolen for people. People don't have money, and my mother don't have money too right now. Like he just. Every day, uh, like a lot of everything uh, for people, for kids, for um, meat, everything help. And of course, my my farm like outside, but it's still dangerous. All country like all all, uh, all um, territory, territory, all territory right now it's dangerous to stay because. Um, Russian to come like village, uh, any uh, uh, place. Mm. Uh, so m m my father make a lot uh, um, cocktail oh. molotov and have a couple guns at home. Um, my sister husband go uh, go in the army right now. He uh, protection seeking. So, like these situations, and Kapandanski Chas, that's it. Okay, uh, I thought you were going to say something else. Um, are, I know, obviously, I've seen a lot in the news. Uh, a lot of people going to Poland. Um, are they planning on leaving, or are they planning on staying? Yeah, my, my family want to stay. I ask about my need to help, like uh, move. She say no, she don't want to move. We will stay to uh, home. Doesn't matter what happen. Like we will try to live how we can. But and I quite cry because 
I'm scared to somebody can and something happen, can come in house, my family, or like, I don't scared to think about this and like just scared for me. I want to save my family. Like, I want to my family move, but he say, no, we have farm, we have animals. My family, my mother cry. I love my animals. I love my cow. I love my chicken. So no, I stay. Mm. Take guns and I, I, I will stay in my house. Wow. And that's it. Um, and uh, she ready to kill uh, an uh, Russian army if come in home. Your friends and family um, to save you uh, home. Is everyone safe that you know? Everyone okay? Uh, no, I know a couple of my friends move in Armia and die. Oh. Um, I'm like, sorry. Yeah. And said. Oh, what what is it like for you to see this happening to your country? Um, obviously, there, I know the history there, but in 2022, for this to happen again. Um, you know, some people th it, like it feels like it's unimaginable that this can happen all over again. That this can happen, and uh, some people would like to see more help, uh, more involvement. But we know that what it could lead to in terms of a world war. For you, just to watch all of this happen to your country that you love so much, can you even put into words what it's like when you're seeing all this footage of of the things that are happening? Your the people in in the subways it's sleeping. It's just, it's just, sure. I will, yeah, I, I look in this, um, I, I see this terrible, terrible pictures, die kids, uh, killing all car, like city, uh, fire, home, like many scary pictures. And I feel like sad. I feel how people like feel this terrible time, it, it bad emotion, like, I don't know just how to say, like, so scary. Uh, I want to some, like, every day cry in so hard. And I want to, this is stop, like, one day I believe it's stop and no more this. I want to back people back in country. Again, uh, normal life. Uh, I try in my Instagram post it uh, something something to help for people. Um, my sponsor to church in my country, uh, church church in my country, help from from army for all people. Uh, I try to post in news something uh, for, uh, in America people or different country to see what happened in my country um just this mm. uh what kind of uh love did you get what kind of reaction did you get from your post-fight interview because that was shared many different places did you get a lot of good feedback for that oh my i have um people cry with me <laughs> people say i, I uh, fly and people, oh, Marina, this is you. I'm crying yesterday. I see your fight and I'm crying. Uh, you interview, amazing. And it's so amazing emotions. And I want again cry. <laughs> I'm an iron lady always to cry. <laughs> right, right, right. Less, <laughs> less hatred? This is amazing. That? Less hatred? Like, has the hatred gone down a bit or, or no? Um, hatred, yes. Oh, it's haters, amazing. yeah. Haters always, oh. uh, but I'm block it. I'm block Good. it and no reaction. If I see uh, something bad, I block. No reaction, no reaction, no answer, nothing. Zero emotions, uh, block. Uh, but we have good uh, people in Russian. Uh, people understand. And just to scare people scare it in Russian. I want to um, maybe another country, another uh, in America, Brazil, uh, Europa, to see it and help more post it. Uh, maybe church, maybe 
uh, help for um, send something to clothes or I don't know. Many people don't have home right now uh, after rockets, uh, after granats. Um, I I try to maybe package. I look in how I can to uh, send a mail. I I maybe package for clothes, shoes, my older shoes. I want to send for people who didn't have nothing right now. So try to how I can to help. I yesterday I sent a little bit money in my I have in my uh, Ukraine bank card a little bit money. I sent sent. If I have something, I can. Uh, I try to help. Mm-hmm. I help my my family, and I try to help for Armia. Uh, by the way, I think your your president is a very impressive guy. I like him very much, Zelensky. Are you a fan of his as well? He he has a very interesting story, but I love the way he has uh, uh, supported the 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 country and everyone. He hasn't left. The way he he has a lot. He's just a very inspirational guy. I love his videos. I'm very captivated by him. Do you? Do you share that sentiment? Yeah, he amazing. Uh, he really support country. Before I like, um, for me it doesn't matter. Like uh, I know emotion for him, but after war and he start to support, he not stop, he not back, and he always like he he can move outside and together with people like. Uh, Super people, let's go, guys! Like super, we need to stay strong. Like I'm respect him, and thank you for him. This support for country. Uh, he used to be a comedian, right? What? He used to be a comedian. Oh yeah, comedian. Yes, that's he crazy. Was comedian. Yeah. Amazing. What a story. And and what about seeing, you know, the Klitschko brothers and Lomachenko and Alexander Usyk, like these real famous athletes, fighters, um, also uh, Yaroslav Amosov of Bellator going back to, you know, defend the country. How does that make you feel? It's, of course, amazing. Guys support, still strong with country, support country, protection country. Only respect for these guys. Uh, I respect before this guy because good boxer, good MMA fighters. But now this guy move outside and try to protect your family. We try to protect your family and country. We don't want to Russian army terrorists come and kill. We try people in Russian different news fake news he think uh, he fake we kill uh uh we think we kill ourselves kill but ourselves yeah mm. uh but no the protection because russian come not we come in russian russian mm. come in territory of ukraine just crazy um, by the way, uh, I hope people see real. Yeah, no, I think a lot of people are, and uh, I think uh, a lot of people are supporting the the Ukrainians and the country and and everything that you guys stand for and what you're doing. I just wanted to ask you on a separate note: uh, the the things that you wear in your hair, like when you weigh in and stuff like that. Why do you do that? Where does that come from? Uh, is that you know, like when you put your hair in the the I know the blue and the yellow for Ukraine, but why do you do that? Uh, because I want to uh, flowers, uh, yellow and blue, but close the fight, uh, I didn't know store where, where I can to buy flowers and make for my hair. And second, uh, I think I need to buy something and make sure like this and blue and yellow. Yeah. So it was improvisations and I want to in in my myself more uh, uh, Russia, uh, more Ukraine flag. I love it. It looks great. But because it, I can use it with clothes, Ukraine. Yes. Uh, because UFC, but I try to my her flag and more people see my flag, Ukraine. This is Ukraine. <laughs> so. And, and you've been doing that for a while, right? Putting your hair like that? Yeah, I fast, very fast, and I. Uh, no, 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 like ten minutes. Okay, uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't know if. Oh, no, 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 I not did in before. 
Oh, okay. But this fight, uh, I did it and I want to next fight uh, more for like Ukraine, something. <laughs> you did great. Um, when do you want to fight again? Do you want to take a break now because of all the, you know, all the stuff going on? You, you need to take a mental break. What are you, what are you feeling? Yeah, I, need, I think a little bit, a couple of weeks I need to rest because I still to worry about my family, too much emotion, I want to like uh, rest because uh, last time my fight canceled, but I didn't stop to train. Mm. I'm not resting. I always, oh, I need to train because maybe, maybe I take documents and again fight. So I was so focused, always train. And uh, for my body, I need to a little bit rest. I don't want to take injury. Uh, and I understand I, I need to vacations, a little bit rest, sleep more, a little bit eat food, good, uh, delicious food, burger. <laughs> and, uh, but probably I want to fight in summer. Okay. Um, and uh, are you going to stay in the U.S.? June, August. Yes, stay U.S. Okay. I, I have to stay U.S. Because of your visa situation? Yeah. Right. I cannot fly. Um, well, I, I just want to say what you did on Saturday, how you uh, represented yourself and your country was amazing. Your post-fight interview was amazing. Your performance, your win, I know it was a very emotional fight for you. There was, you know, uh, animosity there. I think you handled yourself with uh, a lot of class and grace. So uh, congratulations to you. Well done. Well done on representing your country. I know I can't even imagine what's going on in your in your head and with your family, how nervous you must be. Uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm really uh, inspired by the uh, Ukrainian people, what you guys uh, have done over the last couple of weeks and how you're you're handling this whole situation. It's, uh, it's a heartbreaking thing, but you, you are very impressive people. So I'm a big fan and I want to say to you, and to all the Ukrainian people out there, Slava Ukraine, right? That's what you're supposed to say, Slava Ukraine? Slava Ukraine. Yes, I want yes. to say that. So uh, much respect to you, Marina. Thank you for doing this and good luck to you and your family. And uh, I hope that this ends very, very soon. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm so happy. All right, talk to you soon. All the best to you and your family. All right, there she is, Marina Moroz, joining us. A uh, big win for her on Saturday. Uh, and uh, she got the performance of the night bonus as well.